Hi, I'm Sean. This is for story time. Um, I'm here today to talk about some um, black writers that I've got on my TBR. So it's obviously in a um, response or because all the stuff that's happening at the moment um, around Black Lives Matter and the brutality against black people in America. Um, I'm also kind of interested in how like the UK and how Wales responds to this as well. So um, there have been some protests in Cardiff where we live. Um, I think there's that kind of little discussion around, um, I think I said in the last video that kind of the UK was not better, but different. And I don't even, and I was kind of thinking about that and I don't know, I, I don't know how, how that is true necessarily. Um, well, I think it's different in terms of the police don't have guns and weapons. Well, you know, the same kind of weapons. Yeah. But otherwise, not really. That's sort of what I meant when I said it was different, because I think... But then police brutality is also obviously going on here as well. It's but... en endemic in the system. Isn't yes. It? So um, I just kind of wanted to do a, a video in the way that I know how, which is around books. Um, and I'm going to do like um, some a, a TBR of some books I'm kind of I've got here that I want to read and some other ones that I've kind of um, ordered or going to order and then Bert's going to do a video about um, black poets that he uh, enjoys or that he will be reading as well and then I think we're going to do another video a bit later on about um, some of our favourite uh, black writers or kind of recent reads that we've read um, by black writers. Um, also I hope you're okay. Um, it's a quite difficult time with you know all of this going on um, so take care of yourselves as well so into the books so I have um, just started reading The Black Flamingo by Dean Atter and this is a young adult book and it's um, he's a, a British writer so it's young adult but then it, it's kind of told from the point of view of the young adult but it starts when they're quite young so it kind of feels like it's it's quite a young voice to start with and then you're kind of with the character as they age it's kind of done in um verse but also with like text messages as well and then it has some illustrations or it has maybe some black pages as well and it's about this um boy called michael and he is um mixed race lives in the uk and he's gay and he's quite open about uh, being gay and I haven't got very far but I'm really enjoying it it's really easy to read but I think it be it becomes that he um, then gets into uh, uh, drag as well so I'm not sure where this goes but there's lots of feathers so I imagine it involves feathers so yeah I'm really enjoying it um, would would recommend in my last, in our last video, we were talking about the book that had been on our TBR for ages, and um, it was the one for me was Glyph by Percival Everett. So I should get around to reading this as well. I was planning on reading it this weekend, and I'll maybe I still will. Um, this one is the one that was just sounded really confusing, and it said it was a wildly inventive and funny novel. When I looked a little bit closer, I probably can't see, but there's lots of kind of uh, footnotes, lots of different sections. Um, kind of letters, diagrams, it looks quite complicated um, so I think it's maybe one of those ones not to think about too much and just kind of uh, get into it and then just go with it so, and I mentioned before that I really liked his book Erasure. I was reading this a little while ago, I'd started it and then I think um, when the whole kind of pandemic started um, I put it down for some kind of you know, because I, I was having trouble reading, but I will go back to it. And that's all about love by Bell Hooks. Um, and this is the acclaimed first volume in her love song to the nation. I have heard kind of mixed things um, about this one, but I've read other books by Bell Hooks and I have kind of more around art and I have really enjoyed them. So I'll get back to this one as well. This is a young adult um, novel called Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. I think actually, oh yeah, Bell Hooks, American, Morgan Parker also American, I think. Um, Morgan Parker's a poet, and I think her, um, 
her poet her poetry is quite famous i think she's quite famous for her poetry because there's one called magical negro and there's also one called they're more beautiful things than beyonce which are both ones that i'd kind of heard of without really making much of an effort with um so this is a young adult novel which i guess is about music it says that it's trapped in sunny stifling small town suburbia 17 year old morgan knows why she's in therapy she can't count the number of times she's been the only non-white person at the sleepover um being teased for her weird outfit and be told that she's not really black also she spent most of her summer crying in bed so there's that too so i think this one looks like a, a really good one it's got a tape so i don't know when it's set but i thought we've got to have some audrey lord on here um on the back it's um blurbed by bell hooks and it's also got a preface by Rennie edo lodge and an introduction by sarah ahmed both of whom i love so this is a collection of essays. I think your silence will not protect you is just like a great statement for now as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's a collection of essays, which I think is only when this edition was brought out that the collection was brought together. So I don't think it existed before that could be wrong. Um, but it's got um, essays and poems as well. So there's essays like poetry is not a luxury sexism and american disease in blackface uses of the erotic the erotic is power which i've read um before because it was in um that pleasure activism book that kind of hung it all on that essay um eye to eye black women hatred and anger so yeah that is going to be good as well and it's a really beautiful edition i think um, this is a British writer, it's Afwa Hirsch, and the book is Brit-ish, um, on race, identity and belonging. I've had this a little while because um, Afwa Hirsch is often on TV talking about race, and she's amazing. She just talks really well, um, and I just think it's, you know, it's great. I watched a, an interview with her and kind of fell in love with her. So, um, and I'm very interested in reading kind of British perspectives as well, because I, I, I think it's harder to... Oh, I'm less aware of British um, black books that are out there. So this says, you're British, your parents are British, your partner, your children must be friends are British, so why do people keep asking you where you're from? So I think this is going to be great, but it is kind of, um, it looks like there's, you know, small font, quite a big book, but I'll go for it. And really nice kind of little cover as well. And then um, the last one I've got in kind of physical form is this one, which is Black and Blur by Fred Moten. Um, I think Fred Moten is a poet as well, a poet and scholar, I think. Um, I bought this because um, Maggie Nelson recommended it. And I think this is the first in a series. Um, and then when I got it, it is actually quite academic. <laughs> so... I think it is going to be great, but look, there's kind of, you know, it's on Duke University Press. So it's kind of written like a, a, an academic book. So I think it's going to be one of those ones that I'm just going to have to maybe read a certain number of pages each day um, to kind of start to get into it and see how it goes. But it does look um, really interesting. Yeah, it says it's a trilogy and he engages in a capacious consideration of the place and force of blackness in African diaspora arts, diaspora arts, politics and life. In these interrelated essays, Moton attends to entanglement, the blurring of borders and other practices that trouble notions of self-determination and serenity within political and aesthetic realms. And I'm already like a little bit, uh, um, maybe have to reread that sentence a few times. So that's that one as well. Um, then there's a cup. I've got a book coming tomorrow. So I've got Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid coming tomorrow, um, which is a novel which I've heard like really good things about. Um, I've been listening to Book Writer podcast a lot and they've been talking a lot about it. And apparently it's quite um, a really kind of compelling read as well. Um, I'm very interested in the new Brit Bennett book, um, The Vanishing Half. So I might pre-order that when it's not out here yet. And then there's a couple of books um that i thought looked really good which i hadn't heard of and then i recently found them and they're by angela coyote williams and um she's a zen priest i think in berkeley and there's a book called radical dharma which is um i don't know if it's edited or written by her and also lana rod, rod o, lama rod owens and it's radical dharma talking race love and liberation racial injustice and white supremacy plays 
how racial justice and white supremacy plays it out in society and Buddhist communities in particular. So it's kind of like a, um, yeah, a, a Buddhist kind of take on, on, on all of this as well. Um, she's also written a book which looks great called Being Black, Zen and the Art of Living with Fearlessness and Grace. So that's something I'm really interested in. One book that I kind of have known about for a while, haven't read, and it's not actually in print at the moment, um, but I think you can get it at second hand, is um, Sugar and Slate by Charlotte Williams. And that's because it's got like a, um, a Welsh perspective, which I you know there's not that I'm aware of. If you're aware of them, please let me know. There's not loads about the black experience in Wales. Um, but this one, um, I think she's in North Wales and her mother's um, a white Welsh speaking and her father is black. And I think it's like a, about her experience. And it's one that's been, yeah, kind of talked about a lot, but I, I never got around to reading it. So I will add that to my list as well. That's all I have for today. Uh, Vert will be telling you about some poets quite soon, I imagine. Um, so let me know if you've read any of these books. Let me know if you have any um, suggestions for books I might like. And I will see you soon. Thank you.